Good morning once again and welcome to your TGIF Look at Sports. It's a big weekend for the University of the Bahamas. Northern Islands Recruitment Drive is on for tomorrow in the nation's second city. Student athletes from Grand Bahama, Abaco and Bimini are all invited to attend. Basketball, soccer, volleyball, softball will all be contested this Saturday. And A.D. Kim Roll encouraging all student athletes to come on down. We know Grand Bahama um, is the Mecca, and so, you know, it has a tremendous amount of talent there, and so we always thought it would be a good opportunity to take all of our coaches there one weekend, you know, and try to see, assess um, talent from a varied number of, of the disciplines. This will be our third year um, doing it. The first two years, we've had um, a pretty decent response. This year, we've upped the ante with advertising, reaching out to schools directly, coaches, um, and really getting the word out that, you know, that UB Athletics is coming. We start with men's basketball in the gym. Simultaneously, we've got um, um, men's soccer going on outside. And then at 12 noon, we have women's um, volleyball um, going on. And then we had um, women's softball. There may be somebody who plays volleyball, but they also play softball. So we have staggered the time so that if that person also wants to try out for both teams, they have that opportunity to do that. And then afterwards, our coaches will have an opportunity to meet and greet Revox parents to come out um, so that they can talk, they can ask questions. Um, we're going to be taking um, information as relative to admissions, housing, and, all, and the like. Now, one of those coaches that's headed down this weekend to Grand Bahama is Shane Albury. He joins us this morning on the Morning Edition. Shane, good morning. Thanks for waking up early with us. I know you have a busy week ahead. You're headed down to Grand Bahama. What are you particularly looking for? Uh, we're looking for athletes. Um, we look for athletes um, who we can plug into multiple positions and also persons with, with good attitudes and good character. Um, all of it, you know, all of those characters we think uh, build better for the, a good athlete and a good person overall. And when you go down, what do you want these student, must put that for student athletes to display? Because you're not just, like you say, looking at if they can hit the ball, yeah. catch the ball, fundamentals like that. Yeah, like you said, student first. And, and, and for me with softball, one of the first questions I ask students is, what's your GPA? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm sure the other coaches ask the same thing. And no matter where you go, uh, whether you're playing uh, sports in the Bahamas or abroad, that's one of the first things a coach will ask you, what, what's mm -hmm. your GPA? Mm -hmm. uh, so that is important. Um, and, you know, once you're on the team, we, we, you know, there's study hall. Uh, we want to make sure that you keep up with your grades. Um, so that is... Like I said, that is top priority. And as you can see some, some of the video on the screen, you guys get to play in the New Providence Softball Association. Yeah. So you're looking for that character to, 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 to carry the Mingo brand. Yeah, most certainly. Um, it's, it's, it's bigger than self. Um, it's a team sport, and, and we represent the University of the Bahamas. And, and that's something that I you know, mentioned to all of our players um, on and off the field. Uh, you're a mingo, whether you're playing softball, you're a mingo, whether you're in your classroom, you're a mingo, whether you're, you're, you're at work, you're, you're a mingo in your, in your own personal time, but hey, it's, it's a big brand that you represent. And, and sometimes if, if you're not acting in accordance with the rules, regulations, policies of the University of the Bahamas, you will be disciplined. Is there anything particularly you want these players to bring on down? Uh, come with, with the, the right attitude. Um, for first and foremost, be on time. Um, I tell you, if you can't be on time, be early. Mm -hmm. uh, just be there. And, you know, we, we go on Eastern Standard Time, not, not Bahamian Time, mm -hmm. uh, which is usually for a lot of people, it's, it's late. Bahamian Time. Uh, so, <laughs> so Eastern Standard Time. So be early, be on time. Um, come with a, a mindset to work. Mm -hmm. um, come with a positive attitude, and, and who knows what will happen after that. Basketball, softball, volleyball will all be there this weekend. It's a great environment. It's going to be lots of kids. Yeah. Yeah, we got men's basketball, men's soccer, uh, women's volleyball, and women's softball. Uh, we'll be at uh, St. George's High School uh, putting on um, a good show, hopefully, um, from 10 a.m. tomorrow. And how hard is it to be recruited? Because I, I, I posed this question to A.D. Kim Rule. Most athletes, oh, I want to go to this place. I want to yeah. go play ball in this thing. So yeah. how do you sell them on coming to UB? Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's hard, no, no doubt. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough challenge. It's a tough sell. Um, you know, it's something I've experienced personally, um, even with my own daughter, <laughs> um, along with um, players who've been a part of UB 
who transferred out uh, to various schools in the States or Canada. Um, but, you know, for some persons, it's nothing like being home. Mm -hmm. uh, believe it or not, um, UB is very affordable. And, and for those persons that look to go abroad, uh, there are so many other elements um, with respect to financials that are not included. Uh, so believe it or not, like I said, UB is, is an affordable uh, program, your home, um, there's nothing like home. Let's put a switch hit in here. You're also on the executive board of Junior Baseball League of Nassau. You opened your season last week. A great, great atmosphere out there. Most certainly. Um, yeah, we started uh, last week. Um, had a wonderful time last weekend. Um, had Genesis Warhawks out, um, closing us out with John Canoe. And, and we looked at the field and, and a lot of the places. That's the most persons we've seen at JBL in a long time. Um, but hey, season open is always a, is always a good atmosphere. And, and we look forward to a great season of what, baseball and softball. What do you expect this year? You have a lot of division, much more kids, and parents are really bringing them out. And the fan support has been great, for, especially yeah. from the parents. Um, looking forward to seeing good ball, um, whether it be baseball or softball, and, and competitive. Um, believe it or not, we've, we've started, we've had preseason, and we had early games uh, from November, December of last year, and in quite a number of the divisions. You know, one game, one loss can drop you two or three points mm -hmm. um, in, 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 the, in the standings. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for good play. There again, we look for good attitudes, high caliber people, and competitive play. And I can see that from some of the shots. An honor, Chef Albury, naming the field after him. When I come down there, he's right there sitting down. When I leave, he right there sitting down. Might well just put a, man. put a bed there for Jeff, but now I feel this is honor. Jeff is like the JBLN mascot, mm -hmm. man. He's, he is truly a fixture at JBLN. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one of the shots I told one of the directors, um, when the plaque was unveiled, um, you know, we, he, he held his mouth and he covered his mouth. He was truly surprised. And he's, he's a person that, you know, he prefers to be behind the scenes mm -hmm. and he works tirelessly and we, we do appreciate it. And it's just a little thing that we, we, we did to, to show his support, to show that we appreciate what he's done at JBLN um, for all of these years. How many kids are in the, in the league this year? And some parents may be calling, can I still get my kid involved? Uh, we have about 500 kids. Um, depending on the vision, mm -hmm. um, yes, my there is still some availability. Um, they'll have to contact us to, contact us to see if you know, the, the, the persons who they want to come down um, can fill in one of those slots. But some, some divisions are stacked, and some persons who dropped out do for various reasons, but there's little availability left. And the girls softball as well, so you have a chance to look at those players there to yeah. come into UB as well. Most certainly, that's, that's one, of my, uh, one of my plugs, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I always look forward to bringing JBLN girls. Um, I have some on the team at the moment and always looking to fill spots. Um, but this weekend is about Grand Bahama. I have three Grand Bahama players on my team at the moment, and I have my eyes on a few others. Mm -hmm. So I'm going down with uh, my time and switch uh, <laughs> for some parents and some players. <laughs> you say this is your first time going down since passes of Hurricane Dorian as yeah, well. Yeah, certainly. Um, we'll, we'll see how things are there. We know it's been a bit rough for persons in, in Grand Bahama, uh, but hopefully we can ease the burden Mm -hmm. um, by you know providing some scholarships for some of the players down there and all of the four disciplines that are going down. All right, I'd like to thank Shane Orby for joining us here on the Morning Edition. Once again, our recruitment drive in Grand Bahama, 10 o'clock start, but that doesn't mean you have to get there at 10 o'clock, come there early about 9 o'clock, warm up, get familiar with the surroundings, and then it's time to hit the field. Volleyball, softball, basketball, and soccer will all be contested this weekend. We're looking forward to seeing you down there in Grand Bahama. That's going to do it for your TGIF look at sports. Your good friend Charlie is celebrating a birthday today, Shane. She's going to be the queen of Kingsway this morning. Happy birthday to my baby, and that's going to do it for sports.